The plank is a great exercise for the core and abs. There are a few mistakes that can actually make it backfire and cause more pain. When we go to physiotherapy uh, or when we're looking online for exercises to activate the deep core muscles to alleviate the symptoms and alleviate lower back pain, I have heard from people who instead of actually getting relief, they are getting the, the pain is getting worse after the plank or they are not feeling their core engaged at all. And this was actually something I experienced myself way back years ago when I, went when I first went to physiotherapy for my piriformis pain and I was doing the plank exercises and I was not feeling anything in my core. The only thing that was working were my shoulders. The, that were sh my shoulders were shaking. I was trying to find my balance, but I didn't feel, I didn't feel my core working. I couldn't get it to work. So this is uh, something that many people experience, especially if you go to a gym or, or you are working with a trainer or doing group uh, classes and you're doing the plank and try to hold it for up to one minute. If you're making some of these mistakes, you can actually be putting more pressure on your lower back. Your core is not even engaged. It's not working. And that's what, that's what can lead to more lower back pain and having your symptoms of sciatica and piriformis pain get worse after that. I'm going to go ahead now and share with you the plank mistakes that may be causing your lower back pain or making your symptoms worse. To do the plank properly, there is a one small tip that I want to give you here to make sure that you engage in your lower abdominals and your deep core muscles. Uh, think about doing a, a very small, slight posterior pelvic tilt. So bring your belly in instead of rotating your pelvis forward, creating that arch. You want to do just the opposite, but not overdoing it so that your back is rounding, but just slightly tilting everything in, bringing your abs in, you're gonna start to feel it here. The other thing as well is you wanna look forward. So you wanna look ahead of you and not down because the moment you're looking down, you're gonna be bringing your shoulders in and that can create pressure in your back as well. And the third thing is that keep your feet on the floor, push your toes on the floor so that you can have that straight line and avoid bending at the knees and make sure to keep your glutes engaged. If you contract your glutes and have your pelvis in, I think that you're gonna start to feel your core engaged and it's okay to be shaking a little bit as long as you're feeling it here. You wanna be holding it for up to 10 seconds in the beginning and building your strength from there. If you try to push it um, really quickly, you're trying to do a one minute plank you're going to start fatiguing and then you're going to start sacrificing form and noticing that lower back arching or something you know your body doing things to compensate so make sure to focus on doing a proper plank and you can build your time as you increase strength The other thing I want to add is you can build your core strength without doing the plank first. I do have many routines in my YouTube channel. I also have a deep core strengthening program to help you get started. But the plank uh, is a great exercise, but there are other ways to build your core strength. 
so that when you're doing the plank, you are using that foundation that you've already built with the other exercises that are easier to do and don't require a lot of balance.